Have you ever gotten a text message that made you look up from your screen and say, what does that even mean? Yeah, a whole bunch of emojis and punctuation that looks nothing like what you learned in school. Well, a new book is explaining it at all, and we talked with an author about how the internet is creating new rules for language. Because internet. It's our featured story at the top of the list. The internet has changed a lot of things. With a few tweets or texts, we can meet a friend, start a fight, or even fall in love. But it can also lead to some miscommunication. If you type in all caps, does that mean you're mad? Is using a period secretly passive aggressive? A lot of people think of linguistic rules as these sort of things passed down from on high from previous generations of like thou shalt not do this with a sort of red pen. But Gretchen McCulloch says that's not the case. She's the author of Because Internet, a book about understanding the new rules of language. And now she's teaching us some of the fundamentals of internet speak. First up, LOL. LOL meaning laughing out loud has been around since the 1980s. It's not as new as we might think it is. But Gretchen says that we all know you're probably not actually laughing out loud. So people started using it almost ironically. So if you take a statement like, uh, I hate you, lol, that doesn't mean I hate you and I'm laughing about it. That means I'm joking about hating you. And so it's the combination of lol that indicates that it's, it's a joking or it's got this extra sort of level of meaning. Next on our list of internet language, ellipses. Because people would say to me, my parents do this, my boss does this. How do I, what do they mean by this and why are they doing it? Gretchen says that people who didn't grow up with computers often used ellipses in informal writing to help separate their thoughts. But for the generation that grew up on the internet, seeing dot 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 leaves them asking what comes next. And finally, emoji. I like thinking about emoji in terms of gesture. I think there are specific gestures that correspond to specific emoji. Just like in person, you might wave when you say goodbye. If you say to someone, good job, with thumbs up, uh, that reinforces the positive message. If you say, good job, with a shrug, or good job with the middle finger, which I won't perform, uh, this conveys a very different interpretation. So choose your emoji wisely. We're helping you understand the internet on the top of the list.